Greetings YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at a U-Line safety knife. Um, this is a steel bodied bla uh, utility blade and it's designed so that the boxes that you're cutting open are going to be done in the safest manner possible. It has a nice little rubber section in here which is quite comfortable. I really like the fact that they continued this ribbing uh, contiguously. It just it gives it a nice look. It gives it a nice feel. It's quite secure. I like the fact that it's thicker here and then it tapers to the front. It makes it very comfortable in the hand. Um, obviously you can see a big thing here is that this is a, uh, a device that does not require tools to change the blade which is cool and this has a spring loaded uh, blade extension specifically because this means that if you drop it or you lay it down it does that so that you don't have to worry about the blade being exposed and someone else hurting themselves or you hurting yourself um, because utility blades have two notches in them or standard ones do it means you can choose how far you want the blade to go out i have this set out in the maximum amount if you use the other notch it'll be only sticking out a little bit which is excellent for box cutting because uh, you don't need much more than you know a quarter inch of a blade if you need going to be cutting tape and things like that I can you know packing string things like that um, this particular one came with the safety blades which i did not do that that they came like that they don't have a tip on them um it's because it's designed to make it less dangerous so that you can't stab yourself or stab someone else as easily um i also like the fact that it is a bright color uh having something that's bright colored in a work environment i think is very important uh, particularly if uh you need people to be aware that you're using a knife and having something like boom it's right there they can see it uh, it's going to be less likely that people are going to harm themselves now there is a big hole here that would quite readily accept a, a uh, full paracord uh, lanyard but i think that i question the utility of that and, and i'll get to that in a moment um now one of the things i noticed that when i got this my first instinct when i when i went to open this was to pinch it and then to screw it, unscrew it, because my always my first instinct is that you want to stabilize something while you're unscrewing it, so that things don't, you know, fall apart or come around. The problem is you don't want to do that with this one. You just want to undo it. You don't need to hold it in place because you're actually pulling it apart in a clamshell. And now you know why I think having <laughs> having a lanyard in there could be of questionable utility. Yes, you if it's loose enough, you're not gonna have a problem, but you gotta make sure that you don't have it too tight. If you have it too tight, you're not gonna be able to open the darn thing. Now, um, this again, it uses standard, uh, uh, no, now it's not going to work for me. I'll put this thing in. The, yeah, there we go. Standard utility blades. And again, you can put it in either location, front or back. Um, there is no magnet in here. And I think that's a, a mistake. I think they should have put a small neodymium magnet in here. That would have allowed the person to choose when they opened it to have to worry about the thing falling out because I actually had it fall out once when I was when I was working with it playing with it I was look, looking at the mechanism as I was opening it and uh, the blade actually fell out on me so having a small neodymium magnet in there I think would have been a good selling point um, obviously this is where you store your extra blades um, which is nice it's always nice to have onboard storage and again having a no tool option is a big bonus here you have a sub fairly a substantial spring um, for opening it and that's why you don't need to pinch it closed because the spring now you need to pull it closed just to get it started and once you get it going you just boom 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 and it's now locked in place um, so that's why you don't need to pinch it. it the thing is designed for that and I I don't think I've ever had a utility knife that opened up this far I mean it's like literally it's like a butterfly it looks like a butterfly when you're done um, but it's all not it's not all sunshine sunshine and puppies there are things about this that i don't like then i and i don't like them specifically because i am a person that suffers from arthritis that if i want to do a scalpel cut is painful for me this if i want to do a standard cut is painful for me because it requires me to put a fair amount of pressure with my thumb because it's a fairly substantial spring now you could reduce the spring by putting another spring in there um, but out of the box 
If you have arthritis, this may not be the tool for you. In addition, it is not light. It is solid steel construction. That is a good thing. It also means it makes it, makes it heavier. Um, the utility knife that I've been, been using in my shop lately is a plastic Husky model that has a, a opener which is squeeze activated. It's, it's just one big wedge and you squeeze it, blade comes out, you let it go, it goes back in. And it means that I don't have to use my thumb at all and it means it's super light. So this is not super light and you have to use either your finger like this for a scalpel cut or like this for a standard cut and I literally find that painful. So this may not be a knife for everyone, but if you are looking for something that is very sturdy looking, solidly built, easily opened, onboard storage, has some nice uh, rubberized uh, sections, has some nice grooves in there for a grip, is well ergonomically designed because it's thinner in the front and thicker in the back, maybe that isn't a deal breaker for you, but it's kind of a deal breaker for me. Now I got this for nothing, somebody gave it to me. If you're a knife guy, people just give you knives. <laughs> it becomes known and people give you stuff. Um, and somebody gave this to me and uh, I've tried it out. And again, I don't think it's that, it just doesn't fit my, my needs. And so I'm gonna pass it on. I'm gonna probably, um, I have plans on going to a pawn shop with a bunch of blades I don't need and selling those off because I don't need them. And, uh, but if you're in line for something that is ruggedly built, ergonomically well-designed, questionably the amount of strength required here, but otherwise it's a solid design, this Uline safety knife may not, may be for you.